Is Deacon Hall still in the bathroom? He's probably in there reading a magazine, so he won't have to come back in here. <laughs> it's called hiding. Hiding. Well, let me just go unhide him. Oh, Lord, she's going to mess with him now. I've got to see this. Me too. <laughs> You all right in there? <laughs> or should we call 911? No, I'm fine. An appetit then, your <laughs> highness. <laughs> or would you like lunch? You could use a spot of roughage, you know. Cleanse the palate, clean the pipes and all that. Pip pip and cheerio. No, thank you. You really need to work on that <laughs> accent. <laughs> oh. Pepper and pencil, then. You never know when the Lord's going to speak, and you would certainly want to record every word of it. Woman, is there nothing sacred to you? <laughs> That's pastor woman to you, and no, not unless it's in scripture. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. You're welcome. Thanks, Jane. You're welcome. Okay, back to business. Reverend Jenkins, do you have any instruction for us as leaders? Yeah, I suppose there are a few. I'll tell you what, right off, please don't call me Reverend Jenkins. Holy and Reverend is his name. What he said. Then what should we call you? How about just Lynn? All right, how about Pastor Lynn? That one. Of course, you realize Deacon Hall is still going to call me crazy. Crazy white woman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we huh. could tell him that we bestowed upon you the title of the right white reverend. <laughs> <laughs> that ought to do him under. <laughs> Wait, don't do that. I can't afford the funeral. <laughs> mm -hmm. no, Mercy. All right, all right. What's next? Uh, I think it's really important that y'all understand how I view the congregation. They're not spectators. They're part of the priesthood. And Peter said a holy priesthood and a royal priesthood. Yeah. And when he said it, he was speaking to the common man in five different regions. He wasn't just talking to a few number of leaders. And so it's really critical for us to understand in this hour that every believer in Jesus is a priest. And with priesthood comes responsibility. Absolutely. I think we need to imitate the five wise virgins. The ones that were prepared. It's like this. When the bridegroom returns, I don't want him to find us saying, Master, this very month alone, why, we had four potluck dinners, we had two garage sales, we didn't lead anybody to the Lord, we didn't pray for the sick, and we didn't disciple anybody. Did we do good? May we enter into the wedding feast. Sounds to me like preparing is a part of growing. It's the same thing. So we really need to focus on making sure that this vessel remains full of oil. And he finds us using that oil for his purposes. Y'all in or out? We're, We're in. in. Yes. <laughs> what is this problem? Hello. Hey. Okay. You have two appointments this afternoon. Okay. Anybody I know? Um, a lady named Alice. She said you helped her mother die. You know, I heard an angel appear before she died. Is that true? It is. It was awesome. Wow. Yeah. I wish I'd been there. Honey, it's a moment I'll never forget. Wow. Who is the second appointment? Pastor McKnight said he pastors a small church down the street, Hillview Baptist. <laughs> 
Baptist? <laughs> What's he want with me? And I'm waving foot stomping tongue talking Pentecostal. <laughs> Excuse me, but obviously you've forgotten that it says Baptist outside of this church. Well, that's a minor point. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you know I'm a female? I didn't have to tell him. He asked for you by name. Yeah. Well, just in case he isn't real female preacher friendly, how about if I hold a meeting back in the kitchen while I'm fixing cornbread biscuits? No. <laughs> No. no, you're no, <laughs> no. fun. You're no fun. <laughs> but anyway, he sound nice. Okay. So Alice okay. at one, Pastor McKnight at two. Okay. Okay. Well, since I have appointments, I guess I'd better go home and get myself looking professional. <laughs> <laughs> How about, uh, I'll be back about quarter till. Is that okay? Okay. Yep. Sounds good. Thank you. Alice, good to see you again. Trust all's well? Yes, ma'am. Good, we'll come on back to the office and we'll talk. Um, do you care if we stay here? It's kind of nice and quiet. Oh, that's fine. Let's get you over a little bit. You're right. It's nice and quiet and peaceful in here. So, you want to talk about anything? I know you don't really know me, but I'm not, I don't know much about religion. <laughs> Honey, that's a good thing. I do, and I don't think too much of it. But a love relationship with Jesus, that I can get excited about. I'm not worth Jesus' love. Oh, honey, you are so wrong about that. That was you were worth so much to Jesus that he chose, he chose to die for you, that all your sins could be forgiven. I do so much stupid stuff. Oh, honey, who doesn't? Bet you didn't know my middle name was, did she really do that? <laughs> but don't you see, that's exactly why the Father sent the Son? He knew we'd mess up, but we had so much worth to him that he made a way that we could be clean before him and have this wonderful, wonderful love relationship. I would love to have a relationship like that, but I don't know how to get it. Oh, honey, it's simple. We just go to the Father, we pray and we ask. We confess our sins. We ask the Father to forgive us, and then we ask the Lord to come into our hearts to be Savior and Lord. It's that simple. Would you like to do that? Sure, but I don't know how to pray. Oh, honey. Let's keep this thing simple. How about if I pray and you repeat after me? Could you do that? Yeah. yeah. And Alice, it's so important for you to understand that prayer was always meant to be something so natural. It's just you and me sitting here talking. So, let's just go talk to the Father. That okay? Yeah. Okay, come on. Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I confess my sins before you. And I confess my sins before you and ask that you forgive me. And ask that you forgive me. And Lord, come into my heart. Come into my heart. As not just Savior. As not just Savior. But Lord, over every area of my life. But Lord, over every area of my life. So thank you, Lord, for this gift. Thank you, Lord, for this gift. And this wonderful love relationship. And this wonderful love relationship. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Isn't it good? Yes. You are worth so much to the Father.